How's it going, Savage Life family? Back in action here, taking a look at Frequency Therapeutics. Currently at $8.61 after a massive drop. $27 in a single day. And after this drop, you're going to see it sit at a stagnant level because that's what these pharmaceutical companies do. They sit at stagnant levels until some news for the company is released. And news that was released that caused this massive spike down was some clinical trial results. It was not the final results, but it was a glimpse of what is to come in the future. Caused it to spike all the way from this high of $40 to a low of $8.55, which is absolutely insane, especially for those of you who did not get out and were unable to get out due to the massive halt that they had because of the spike drop. Now, what is Frequency Therapeutics? What do they do? Is this a buy the dip opportunity? I'll go ahead and answer those questions for you right now. Now, Frequency Therapeutics is a leader in the development of medicines designed to activate progenitor cells within the body to treat degenerative diseases. Their current study is to treat SNHL or sensory neuro hearing loss, which is the most common form of hearing loss, typically resulting from damage to auditory sensory hair cells in the inner ear. These cells convert sound waves to a signal sent to the brain. Sensory hair cells may be lost due to chronic noise exposure, aging, certain viral infections, or exposure to drugs that are toxic to the ear. This type of damage impacts hundreds of millions of individuals in the US and worldwide. And if a company were to end up with a treatment for this disease, it could become massively profitable. So I see why Frequency Therapeutics is heading that route. Now, the FX322 phase 2A study fully enrolled with an end of study readout in late quarter 2 of 2021, as you can see here. Now, two clinical studies in which a single dose of FX322 was administered having shown statistically significant and clinically meaningful improvements in speech intelligibility. In addition, FX322 was observed to be well tolerated with no serious adverse effects. Now, the big deal breaker is the interim results show that four weekly injections in subjects with mild to moderately severe sensorineural hearing loss did not demonstrate improvements in hearing measures versus a placebo. There was no discernible hearing benefit of FX322 over a placebo. So keep that in mind now if you don't know what a placebo is. It's a fake shot to make you think that you're receiving a treatment, but you're really not. So those individuals going into the clinical trial don't know if they're either getting the placebo or if they're getting the actual FX322. And then they go ahead and write the results and see if there's any differences between the two. Now for them to say there's absolutely no current benefit to an FX322, which is their treatment over a placebo, goes to show you why the stock price plummeted low. It's showing no progress is being made over the course of the clinical trial. Now SNHL is going to be a tough cookie to crack due to the human ear not spontaneously restoring loss or damaged hair cells, making hearing loss a permanent condition. Today there are no FDA approved therapeutic options for SNHL. So that's currently the benefit of taking this high risk reward bet because if there's no company currently with the FDA approved for treatment for this option and Frequency Therapeutics does end up getting that FDA approval, does end up getting that treatment for this therapeutic, then yes, FX322 will make the stock jump significantly. But they are swinging for the fences on this one trying to do what no company has yet to do. It's like a company that is aiming to cure cancer completely. It's pretty much placing a huge bet on the company. Now, at the 90 day following dosing, 34% of subjects achieved a 10% or greater absolute improvement in word recognition scores in treated ear, which was clinically meaningful and statistically significant and compared to the untreated ear, but that's on single dose regimen. 
Now, let's go ahead and look at price targets. Now, these price targets have not been changed from over a month ago, and we currently have four price targets here by Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Oppenheimer, and B. Riley Financial. All of them have buy price targets analyst ratings and they have yet to be changed to this day even with the massive plummet that we've seen now in the next couple of weeks you're going to see these analysts here change their price targets to either hold or sell depending on the situation but they still have healthy price target scores here of over 35 of over 34 56 68 and 79 dollars low overall estimate of 56 with an average of 67 and a high of 79 now, see, you got the current price is $8.73. Anybody will look at these price targets and see, wow, there is massive potential of growth for the company. But these analysts here, keep in mind, they did not expect that FX322 was not going to have any sort of meaningful improvement compared to a placebo, which as an outsider investor, it's impossible to know that information, to know which direction these pharmaceutical these pharmaceutical companies are going to head in these clinical trials because they are very hard to pass. Now, an upward trend in earning estimates is one of the most powerful forces impacting stock prices, and the company plans to report final results of Phase 2A study in late quarter 2. Now, in their last quarter's earnings, they smashed it, beating EPS by 0.16, which is earning per share. Revenue actual was 11.25, which was beat by 5.37 million. So they smashed their last earnings. Now, what is expected on this next earnings? They expect a revenue estimate of 8.35 million with an earnings per share of negative 0.28. Now, if they end up smashing this too, we can see the price to jump up back up a few dollars if earnings goes well. But seeing it above that $40 to $50 price point is highly unlikely until news for the final results of the phase 2A quarter is released in late quarter 2. So that's what I think Frequency Therapeutics could look like when I buy at this price. Seeing as they're not currently doing better than a placebo at the current moment, it is a very attractive price to look to buy into the company, but I would wait a little bit until I see results from late quarter two for the rest of the actual clinical trial because if it does not meet expectations, it could even go lower than this $8 price point that we're seeing here, which would not surprise me due to the fact that it is a pharmaceutical company still not making profits, still in this clinical trial phase. So there you have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like. Any questions, drop it down below in the comments and what you think the future of this company is heading to. Now, if you haven't joined the Savage Life family, click that subscribe button for more news and updates on companies. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Again, see you again.